Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I wanted to show you how you can load in your custom LUTs or uh, looks or uh, color presets into Adobe Premiere. So here I am inside Adobe Premiere and uh, you notice when I go to my color grading module uh, I can go to the both the creative and the basic uh, color correction tab and when I click uh, under the look, uh, basically for the LUTs, you'll notice that I have many of my, my sort of custom uh, LUTs that I've loaded in there alongside uh, the ones that come natively installed when you get Adobe Premiere. Uh, so for example, you see up here I have my Citizen Kane, City of God, that kind of stuff. These are different LUTs uh, that I have available on my website, uh, which are part of the uh, famous movies uh, pack. So to install the LUTs into Adobe Premiere, first you want to go to folder where you actually have Adobe Premiere installed. On Windows, it's usually under Program Files, Adobe, and then you're going to go to Adobe Premiere, whichever version that you have. Uh, then you're going to go and look into a folder called Lumetri, and then in there you'll find a folder called LUTs. Click on that, and in Creative is where you want to copy all of your LUTs. You can see my famous movies uh, pack of LUTs I already loaded in there. Uh, and I can, for example, load in uh, my, let's say, Cinecore LUTs, uh, which I have up here. Uh, so you're just going to basically copy all these LUTs into here uh, by right-clicking on it, clicking Copy, and then right-click up here, click Paste. It's going to ask you uh, if you have the, the permission to do it. Uh, let me also go to my Cinecoral LUTs Pack 2. I'll copy all of these ones. Copy and up here. Click Paste. Click Continue. Uh, and now what I can do is I can uh, basically restart uh, Premiere because if I click right now in here, you'll notice that those new LUTs don't show up. So I'll have to actually close Premiere. And uh, now I'll go Restart Premiere and those LUTs are going to be recognized because they're actually being loaded each uh, time you're going to start up Adobe Premiere up here. Uh, okay, so I'm here inside Adobe Premiere and again I'm going to go into my color module and on the right side here on the Metri panel uh, I can go to, for example, the creative looks and you'll notice now that I have my Cine Color LUTs here also displayed. Uh, so I can easily, quickly navigate them. Not only that, but I can also this way use the creative uh, look here preview window to kind of quickly preview how these LUTs would look when they're applied to my footage. So my two-tone cool look, for example, this is how it would look. The two-tone extreme. Uh, let's say, for example, I like this one. If I like any of these looks and I want to now apply them, all I have to do is double-click on this window. And you can see it applies it. I can see how this footage looks. Uh, for example, I can browse further. Uh, I think uh, Amelie is a kind of a cool look. This is again from my famous movies pack of LUTs that I have available, which uh, replicate the iconic looks of, uh, of these famous films that you guys have seen. And this one's from the movie Amelie. It's Children of Men, we got City of God. Uh, some for Gladiator, you can see this is the kind of look that we have. And the cool thing too in uh, Adobe Premiere at least is that you can adjust the intensity filter here uh, setting for your LUT. So you can increase this to make the, the effect or this preset really strong. Or you can actually decrease it, make it very subtle. Uh, and you can kind of see this before how it looks. This is how it looks now. Uh, so you can kind of uh, get really extra creative with these LUTs. You don't have to just apply them and then be kind of stuck with the look that they give you. You can kind of customize it to your own taste. For example, here I have Linago, uh, Miami Streets. And for example, this one, San Diego, uh, is actually uh, one of the LUTs that I give away for free on my website. Uh, to get this, you actually all you have to do is just go to my website, tomantosfilms.com. Uh, and then you're going to subscribe to my newsletter up here on the right side. Uh, just put in your name, your email address, and this way you can kind of stay in touch with me. I'm going to send out uh, usually a weekly sort of an update with um, some filmmaking tips, uh, tutorials, this, that kind of stuff. And also as a thank you, you're going to get my free uh, LUTs. Uh, I also have some other, for example, LUTs that are available on my downloads page here on my website. Uh, alongside, for example, I have this photo video cheat sheet and I have these Tomantos film stock LUTs, which also kind of quickly convert your average looking video to kind of make it look more cinematic. Uh, I even have a custom LUT that I created for the Ursa Mini 4.6K and Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K. Uh, for example, widescreen bars, if you want to make your footage look uh, kind of more of a wider aspect ratio. And a whole bunch of other stuff that you can download here on my website, again, all for free. 
So here back in Premiere, uh, for example, if I like, uh, let's say, the Sandigo, this lot that you get from my website, I can again double click it. This is the kind of look that it creates. Now, this one might be a little too intense for this scene. And again, like I said, it's cool because in Premiere, I can kind of adjust the intensity. So I'll just kind of decrease it, let's say, a little bit, uh, maybe to this point. And again, now I'll just show you before. This was how the, the video looked straight from the camera. And this is how it looks after the LUT is applied. So as you see, just using one of my LUTs, you can very quickly get uh, your video just looking a lot more alive, uh, having nice colors, more cinematic, more more something that you would expect to see in a, in a big budget film or maybe a, a, like a nice uh, music video. And again, you can just keep on kind of experimenting with the different looks. Uh, once you like something, again, just double click on it, apply it to your footage. And it's definitely a lot quicker than having to browse for, you know, and load in each one of those lots uh, into Adobe Premiere. Uh, anyways, this is uh, Tom Antos, and that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.